This is the second part of my video on the sump spy unit. This is the sump spy unit itself. It plugs in a normal outlet. It does have a screw hole. You can screw it into a different kind of outlet. I have a GFCI there right now though, so I can't do that. Green means it's online and working. It's red if it's not working. It's used like an amber if there's like a degraded state. That's a Wi-Fi setup. It's not really a WPS button, but it's like something used to activate it if during the setup if it doesn't work right, you use that to reset it. That's an old audio only device. And the sump spy itself has a little float there, that little white thing that just clips on, uses a hose clamp to zip onto the discharge hose. If the water gets raise that up and trips in the sump spy unit too, where if you lose power, it'll go off and then you you know, send an alert that says you lost power. And be, this all here is for a second unit. I only have the one right now. And because this plugs into here, it can tell you how long the pumps run, how often it's run. It has some algorithm in the system too. It can tell you how much water it's pumped based on how long it's run, how many times, and stuff like that. It's kind of a cool device. It is a little bit pricey though. It was like $150. What I think it was worth is beats a flooded basement, so.